Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I am not surprised that June was the hottest month on record. I'm even seeing it around me. You know, for the last several weeks in a row, we have been hitting the 90s for several days in a row. And we're set to do that today. We're going to be 92 degrees all the way through Saturday. And on Saturday, we're going to be hitting the upper 90s. So I'm definitely feeling this. Earth just hit its hottest June on record on track for warmest July. And this came out in the Washington Post, July 15th, 2019. I am not surprised. Look, we have seen places that are normally cool have these outrageous hot temperatures. I don't think I've ever seen Anchorage, Alaska hit 90 degrees before ever, but they did around the, you know, the 4th of July. I think they had two days of 90 degrees. That's like unheard of. Boosted by a historic heat wave in Europe, and unusual warm conditions across the Arctic and Eurasia, the average temperature on the planet soared to its highest level ever recorded in June. According to data released Monday by NASA, the global average temperature was 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so that's slightly up above the June norm easily breaking the previous June record of 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and that was in 2016, above average. The month was punctuated by a severe heat wave that struck Western Europe, in particular during the last week, with numerous all-time hottest temperature records falling in countries with century old data sets. Now, France, and I remember seeing this in the news, hit 114.6 degrees. So notably, 13 locations in France surpassed their high, um, highest temperature ever recorded. That is unheard of. I mean, those are the kind of temperatures you get in Africa. <laughs> I mean, that is just crazy to see that in France. So, um, you know, of course, that was record-breaking for them. NASA is the second institution to confirm that it was Earth's hottest June as the Copernicus Climate Change Service had already determined that June 2019 was the warmest such month on record for Europe and globally. And I believe that. June featured unusual mild conditions in the Arctic, particularly in Greenland, where the melt season got off to an early start. July is picking right up um, where June left off. Zeke Hosfather a climate scientist based in Berkeley, California, tweeted that month so far ranks as the hottest on record, narrowly ahead of 2017, the previous record holder. If this July turns out to be the warmest July, it will be the warmest month we have measured on Earth, tweeted Michael Mann, a climate scientist at Pennsylvania State University. So if you look at this chart, it shows you like each decade. Um, they're showing you every 20 years from 1880 all the way to 2019. Wow, you really can see how the temperature has soared on Earth. Oh, well, they said this was going to happen. You know, I heard this was going to happen. Wow. You know, I heard this was going to happen probably about 10 years ago, that the temperature would continue to go up 
every single year on earth, but you can feel it. I mean, if you really think about all the summers that you've lived through on this planet, you can literally feel that it has gotten a lot hotter now. And it's going to continue to accelerate. Like June, July has featured some notable hot temperatures, extremes. Yeah, extreme weather. Definitely. We have seen, look, the rainstorms alone <laughs> that I've seen in my state definitely classified as extreme. And it is just not letting up. It just seems like every single storm is violent. That's how those are the only kind of rain showers we seem to be getting now. So high temperature extremes, including in Nun Natav, Canada, the northernmost permanently inhabited location on Earth, it hit a record high of 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it must be one of those places that's normally cold, you know, that people, maybe a few people live. And that was on this past Sunday. They hit that temperature, almost 70 degrees, breaking the previous record of 20 Celsius. In addition, Alaska last week posted its hot temperature um, the hottest two-day on record. Remember, they hit 90 degrees in Anchorage for the first time. You know, I, I was um, reading some of the articles. They wouldn't even go outside. <laughs> I mean, you know, people in Alaska stayed in. They would not go outside, you know. And you got to also think about the fact that there are some locations that don't have a lot of air conditioning because they never needed it before. You didn't need no air conditioning, a lot of that, when you were, if you're living in Alaska, <laughs> you know, in certain parts, you don't need all of that. And also, you know, when you, because I used to live in Europe, and I know I told y'all that before, most Europeans, the average house over there, don't have any air conditioning. They never needed it because the summers were always cool. Not anymore. You know, very few locations over there have air conditioning. Very few. So the June monthly record and July toasty first half raises the odds that 2019 could make a run for top three finish for warmest year rather than top five, according to data from NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Nine of the 10 warmest years on record occurred since 2000, a trend that scientists have tied mainly to human emissions of green greenhouse gases. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I really think this is a natural phenomenon that the earth is going through. I really do. I, I know some people think this is record breaking, but I think if you look far enough back, this has occurred before. I don't believe this is a first time occurrence on earth. I think this is the first time we have seen this in our lifetime. You know, there is a difference, but I'm even noticing it. You know, we could be hitting close to 98 on Saturday. And, you know, July is usually a hot month for us. And, you know, especially up and down the East Coast. But like I said, I never seen these temperatures before for places like Alaska. And it's just a sign that things are definitely changing on the planet and not just here, but worldwide. And people just have to start preparing yourself for this because it's not going to go back to being a cool planet. 
But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.